Hi, welcome back to Beyond Beans and Weenies. I'm Jan Rowland. And I'm Sue Hanson. Am I ready? Happy Monday. Happy Monday, yeah. <laughs> welcome back. So today we're doing Super D uh, crock pot chili, and it's called Super D for two reasons. My friend Debbie, um, okay. it's her recipe. And so, you know, Debbie, you know, kind of stealing it, so call us. <laughs> and it's also super delicious, super easy. So basically what I'm going to do is put two tablespoons of, of salad oil in there. Now, the recipe really calls for putting the oil and and uh, sauteing the onions onion. first. Uh -huh. Do you want to put sure. Would you mind doing that? Mm -hmm. um, but what you know, the, I just didn't have enough time. And you know, we lots of times we, we just don't have enough time. So it's two tablespoons salad oil, um, about a three medium onions cut up, two garlic cloves, and I was very generous with that. Garlic cloves, two pounds of ground beef, and I already and I actually. You know, I sauteed that already in the um, oh. in the crock pot, so uh -huh. I didn't have time to stand there and do it. I just think the crock pot's awesome. Uh -huh. uh, so two pounds of ground beef, one can this size can, which is um, 28 ounces of tomato sauce in the in the crock pot, and then um, six ounces of can you get that? Is that I, think I, so. I have a small spoon this for you. Okay. Tomato paste just kind of thickens it up, and a can of the four ounce can of green chilies. And I I buy the big can and then put the rest in a Tupperware because generally you can get it cheap, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So now this is Ital Italian style tomato paste. It's just because it has like um, oh, yeah. and that's about the wrong thing. Make it good though. So we could double this for spaghetti sauce, and um, <laughs> that's <laughs> it'll right. be really great. So that so we got that the green chilies. I didn't really run through the ingredients, but you should be able to find that on our website. Three tablespoons of chili powder. Wow. Goes in. It's a lot of chili powder. Well, it's chili powder, but chili powder's not really that hot. Um, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne, and I actually am just going to. Okay, my because goodness. I'm going to give this to my in laws. They're like 91. <laughs> to, I'm going to give this to, to them to eat. So, But, but this chili you, is Ooh. no fail, and it's really awesome. If, it, if you find out it's kind of, if you want to show them, it's, it's a little bit um, stiff. You could add some water to it if you thought that was a little um, too thick. Got a can of kidney beans, and I'm only gonna do half because I don't really like it. Really? Well, I just, you know, I think beans should be moderated. You know what beans do. Could you put black beans in here? You could. You, chili? you could. And could you use olive oil instead of the vegetable yes, oil? Yes, you can you I can like do all sorts oil. of substitutions, you know. And then this this recipe for chili calls for cloves, and I'm putting it says six, wow. but I'm putting it in. Cloves just give it's gonna give it a little bit of a spicy, not not spicy like a chili spice, and then one bay leaf. Don't forget to take it out before you eat it. Um, about a tablespoon of cumin and salt. That's two and a half teaspoons of salt. I love salt. <laughs> and that's it, basically. So and you want to go ahead and put this on low in the pot, pot low and go, and you're ready to go. Low and go. Low and go. I like that. So you're ready to come home to a nice pot of hot chili. Uh, I would make some cornbread maybe with that. Would you have saltines yeah, or something? Cornbread. Lance would do saltines. I love yeah. chili. You love chili. It. Yes. So right, super D for delicious Debbie. Super D. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.